Well, today what I did was I came and I fixed a couple clip-on stones. Back in the 60s, I used to clip the stone on, real stone, cut it real thin, and then I just pointed it up. I'm going to show you how I did it. Well, today what is going on is we have a couple stones that fell off because they put a new porch on. And I want you to notice, i got to say this all the time, it's undercover. So we're not worried too much about how we're going to put it back. we got to put some there and that's looking okay. This is real stone. See this? This is real stone and at the end of the video I'm going to show you how they make that stone. we got to put a couple pieces up there. So let's look at the stone we're working with. This is nothing but a piece of flagstone. That's all it is. They cut it square and these are clips that would clip it into the side of the building and then they pack it with cement. We're going to reproduce this at the end of the video. So let's look at how they put this cement on. Nothing holding it. See that? Nothing holding that cement. We've got to get it out of our way though. There's one of those clips. See it? Cement. It's no big deal. And this will go back up in there like that. See that? Get these out of here. First, we're going to get everything out of here. I got to get out of here. And then we're going to place everything and then we're going to mix the cement. That's the, that's the way it's going to work today. No big deal. I'm going to put the corner piece in, you see? Here's what they did. They mitered this back in the 60s. They built this house in the 60s. I dry fit it. Those clips ain't going to really work, so I'm going to just knock them out of the way. See that? You don't need them. Then I need something to prop this corner up with. So I'm going to put a couple screws in like this, like that, dry fit it again to make sure that the height's right. Bend it down a little bit. How's that? Bend it down a little more. That's pretty good. Now I go over here on the other side, same thing, I'll put another piece in here, it's going to sit on there like that, and we'll put a good, another one, good one in for measure, good measure as we call it, that's going to kind of hold that, you know, you learn as you go, you learn as you go. And you gotta adjust things constantly. When you're in masonry, you gotta learn to adjust. So that's gonna be good. And as we're going, we keep changing. This is, uh, I don't know what they call it, Loctite landscape. They use it for, uh, so what do you call it? Landscaping blocks. So we're going to use that, and we get it in here, make sure it's good. So I know it's good like that, and we can see the tops of where those pins used to be. So we're going to put these in here, these clips. Oh, it didn't go in. This side will go in. I know why it's on the clip. We put them clips in to hold it that way. And we put a clip in here. Hold it this way. And that's good. That's our corner. I gotta fill that spot in right there, right? And then I gotta go up there and fill that spot in. So 
So what I did, make sure you lay everything out dry first and then take your best pieces so you don't end up with small pieces. You want to use all the big pieces first and then if you cut all your little pieces it don't matter. The nice thing about this is I'm working with real stone. That's real stone. We're going to, like I said, duplicate this. stone chip it like this to get the face look we call it see that chip it up to make sure it faces the up the other stuff you can see this line in here you see that all they did was do this and that's what would hold those clips on so now we know the stone so we know this stone is going to fit there, and so we're going to put some little screws to hold it here, like that. One over here, like that. Well, I got to bring that up a little bit. Another one in for good measure, right here. There. So now we know that stone's going to fit. So I'll get this lock tight. New school stuff. As long as it works. It's working, it's working. Don't forget, that it's all under cover, so I ain't worried about it too much. Put a big blob there, a big blob there, and we're done. Stick it on. And then get a couple over here to hold it. Filming that one, and this one, and I push them right into those those uh, stuff I made. This one wants to be difficult. Let's do it again. There, clips right into the stone. So this one comes out. Oh, nope, it don't want to come out. Leave it in there. So we're good. Another one up here. Fits right into the clip, so that's good. So this is a little funny. So we're going to have to make this one work. I'll see. We'll do it this way. Something like that. Now, because it's, because it's real stone, I'm going to face it up a little bit. See that? I don't know why they make fake stone when they can make real stone all right now we'll go see if it fits okay they got big joints in here so I'm gonna kind of match them I'm not gonna go crazy with them put this in here like this and what I forgot to do is cut the things so I went back and cut the grooves in it see it I just fit right down in there. 
and I can put one over in here and groove it in like that. This house was built in 1963 and I heard that the guy who put this up is still alive. So that's a good thing. put some glue on it steady it up there we go and put a clip on top That's it. Now we'll get this piece. We're making headway here. That's pretty good. Now one more thing. You could also get a washer like this. You see that washer? And hold that washer down in there and that'll clip into there if you really think you need it. But I don't really need it. Well I got everything placed up there down here see on the bottom over here everything's set to go the only thing I gotta do is is patch it up down with the cement I'm doing that I'll show you how I do that now I know it's upside down but I'm using a fast set repair mortar and I'm gonna put just a trowel full in here and just a little masonry sand. Uh, you know, usually you don't do that, but I wanted a little more grain here, and it's under cover anyway. And then, just gonna mix it up. And that's it, just a little at a time. People use fast drying cements, mix too much, and they're not ready, and they run into trouble. So we're only gonna mix what we need. That's it. See? I'm going to keep it on the stiff side because we don't want to get that stone too wet. Just like that. That's good. We could always add a little more water. Now I'm pointing it up and I'm just putting it in there and shoving it in. Clips are what's holding everything. Using your hand sometimes you get it in there better. See that? Just like that. Want to use your tool? You can use your tool. Just make sure you get it in there good. See that? This side over here. That's gonna bind that up pretty good. Ain't worried about it falling off. Now with the clips. Just like that. at first you see me sometimes wet everything first but that would make a big mess we don't need a mess and this stuff is pretty sticky so that's it get it in there paintbrush if you want but I'm gonna wash it off anyway this is fast Ryan this ain't as fast as a rapid set but we don't want it that fast because we're a little time to work it and then we get the get your little small sponge just 
go over the sides. That's it. Keep that sponge clean and get all that stuff off. Turning the sponge. That's it. No big deal. Dry up. We will sponge it again a little later. That's it. So I came back the next day just to check out the joints. They matched in there pretty good. So everything came out good. I told you I'm going to show you how they made these stones. Very, very simple. They just got a square and squared it. And they probably went this way with it, as square as you want. And they put a square piece this way. This is just so you got your square piece. Once you get it all cut out, pretty square, you can get a chisel to do this, or you can just chip it like this, get the sides a little bit, see, and you rock face it. I've got videos in rock facing, no big deal. And then, to finish it off, you just get your grinder. Right there, that's where you put your clips on this side, that side. So I'm going to talk about that job a little bit. When I first looked at it, it was only a few miles from the house. I took a stone back and I was thinking, how am I going to clip these on? I even drilled through the stone. I came home and tried to drill it. I figured maybe that would work. And then they, I, I had an idea, well, I'll get these wall ties and I'll cut them and I'll make clips out of them. Just like that. Same thing or I thought I was going to get some wire mesh and put it alongside because I couldn't put it behind it, it was too thick. So I had a lot of different ideas and then I just settled on the screws because I've done this before. Even when I, you look at my first or second videos, I always throw an extra couple screws in. Already I'm seeing these stone fronts, these fake stone fronts are starting to fall apart because they don't do this. That's why I like to put the cement in and the stone in at the same time. So, I just want to explain that. The saws, back in the 60s there was no saws. I don't know how they cut them. They usually had wire saws in those days, where they had uh, big wheels, but if there was anything with diamonds, it was real expensive. This is a little tool I use. Sometimes they have a affiliate site, and uh, you can get them there. You can just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get them. That glue they did, uh, that they put on the back of the stone, that was the contractor's idea, and it, it was okay. It stuck against the black paper, and it kind of steadied it up, so when I, I pointed it, that was okay. One of the big things is when I'm doing a job like that, if it's out in the weather and getting beat, I look at it a little different than if it's under cover. If it's under cover, I don't have to worry about the back rotting away as fast. So that's a big deal. I use this repair mortar, and it's a fast set. So instead, like the rapid set dries, you know, 10 minutes, you're done. This stuff will last almost a half hour. I'd say 20 minutes to a half hour. It's perfect for that kind of stuff. I'm gonna do a video on it someday. 
So that was be uh, done back in 63. All these stick on stones, they had a different way of doing it back then. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until next video.